What's going on Pickers and Gritters? Today we're looking at Steve Gaines, fast and clean picker from Leonard Skinnerd, And he had some insane licks. Now these licks brought a whole new dimension to the band. So we're just gonna go over some really cool parts that he played and hopefully enjoy it. We're gonna kick it off with Sweet Home Alabama. And he plays a solo at the end that is so different from the rest of the band. Jazz picker in a Southern rock band. It sounded something like this. You got the There's some really cool parts in there. I mean, I like all of it. But that opening lick, some classic bluegrass style picking. I always loved how clean that was and smooth. And I never quite figured out how he played it clean and smooth until I noticed the fingering. Starting with my first finger, I always get caught. Oh, I got lucky there. But I like to start with my second and third finger. And watching him play that lick, he has this flat picking or angled picking style. And it's variable. He's a jazz picker, so he probably does that to play faster. And the way I got to playing that faster, I just played it at that speed. When we're doing live, it's a lot slower. But it sounds really fast at first. I remember forever that taking a while. But a cool lick. And then sliding into this. Now that's something you should take with in your lead playing. So it's like three segments of really cool runs in the solo. Notice how when you hear him play, it's like he snaps that string, a little like King-like. And this isn't a strat. It's just got 59 style humbuckers from Seymour Duncan, those Seth lovers. So it's got a little bit of that coil sound in there, but you can see how you don't necessarily need a strat to get that sound. Nice little snap. And holding that pick close to the finger, you can snap the, snap the string against the finger and it gives it that unique sound instead of like, and then we go into this really cool part. Not gonna teach the whole solo because there's so many parts I wanna cover today, but. This part. That is spicy and clean. You know, there's this classic lick that you see a lot in Southern rock and other classic rock. You see it in Freebird. Well, he's taking that lick and he's making it even more challenging. You have to reverse it. He actually goes back to the E string. And just getting the coordination to do that took me some time to practice. It might take you some time at first because you're used to going. My goodness, that sounds good, nice and clean. Middle pickup on this guitar, by the way. That's how I got this sound right now. Set to extremely clean because you're gonna hear every mistake I make when we get to I Know A Little. Then we have this cool walk down, another classic Steve Gaines. It's like a, a, a run of pull-offs. And 
a great way to build, build up your speed. It's a fun way to play a fast lick sounding clean. Pull off. And it's two notes. Now we're not going all the way down there, but you can hear the Now this part always got me hung up. There it is. See how my timing gets a little stuck? I could play the lick all day and I never get tired of it. And then a really cool part that he does Mmm, that's some down home cooking right there. A little sliding. Mmm. Not gonna go into a whole lot of detail about that one. But can you imagine what Alan and Gary were saying when, when he plays this solo in Sweet Home Alabama? You know, Alan comes in after that and goes Classic Alan. But the speed. I just love that solo, that whole solo he did at the end there in general. Another cool piece that he added to Skinnerd. that smell. So the solos he does in there, some really cool licks. Get the first solo. In that, what, five seconds to 10 seconds, way less than that, he's playing a ton of notes. Just, if you play the solo slowly, you'll feel like you're playing it fast. There's a trick in here that really makes you think. When he's doing this walk down, now that part alone is pretty fast. And it helps to do this with an angle pick, angle it back inward towards you. But when he gets to this note, this D, he actually plays this he hangs on the note and you have to wait. It's the hardest part of this whole dang solo. I know, out of all those fast notes, this is the hardest part. You hear this, slow it down on the record, you hear this. You don't hear him picking until that part. But he's, he's bending that note. Ooh. And then the next chord up is an F. So he uses an F note right here and leverages it. So that, that's a nice little trick right there going from A minor into the F, how you trans, transition into a chord, for, uh, into a solo off of a chord. Now that part was always cool and tricky to me. Talk about Ben's strength. And then everybody loves this lick. That lick right there isn't all the same. It sounds like it is, but there's different parts. It starts off like that, and then goes to this. So the first one is different. 
and then it goes. So. Fun little quirk right there. And in the live version, he does it like this. I think it's that the Asbury Park concert out there in 77. That's really cool. Now you got another solo in that song. So fast. Mm. This is one of the toughest ones because of the little bit of walk down. And you gotta have some finger strength for this part. Mm, that finger strength, this is tough on tens. There's a part in here though, aside from this. Right here. Do you think if you're Gary or Alan, I remember seeing a quote from, I don't know, one of the band members said that it was when Steve entered the band, Gary and Alan both had to up their game because they realized they could be replaced. And that's a whole other topic of them possibly being replaced. I don't think they would have ever been replaced because of their heart and soul of the band, but just the thought of, wow, this guy is so good, we could be replaced, makes you up your game. So this part right here, the series of notes. Mm, I love that lick. And he's ghosty here. He only picks once or twice. Now that part, that last part, you listen to it clo up close. This one's really interesting. I didn't really do it the right way in the, initially, but it's like a series of bends going up. Mm. Funky. It's like bend, 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 and then finish. They put some, some sick licks together. Do I have any better words to describe it? Sick licks, come on, Tom. <laughs> it's cool, it's great. You know, these, these, ad these adverbs are not descriptive enough. It's just cool. <laughs> but very challenging. And one of the best ways to get better at guitar is to practice these solos. Just dive right in and start doing this. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm by no means like perfect at it, but I've noticed my playing is up significantly when trying to learn Steve Gaines. It has to, if you're gonna play at that level. It just has to get better. And I remember kind of stagnating for a while on guitar until picking up Steve Gaines and diving in, playing a lot, better, a lot more. There's some other stuff he does in this song, not to stay too long on that smell, but there's so much he does. There's a, a part in the end where Alan's doing that, but they have this, he has the thing in the background. And that's, that's a, that last one in particular is very difficult because you're snapping off of a string and bending up a string like two notes down, so. Timing is a little off in your head when you're trying to play this part. You're like snapping right, right off of this. You know, when I play it slow, it reminds me of some Almond Brothers. Just 
This reminds me of like an Almond Brothers lick. Okay, moving onward. Some other really cool things that Steve does. Well, there's the big kahuna. I know a little. And I don't want to do this one because I'm totally going to botch this on camera. My brain freezes up every time I do it. But since we're here, we might as well attempt it. And the reason why it's so hard, there's a cheating way to play it and there's the real way to play it. The cheating way is the way, you'll see um, Huey Thomason did it, 06 on the tour, or 04, 06, whenever the early 2000s Skinner Vicious Cycle. The cheating way is, that sounds fine, right? That's great. It sounds cool, nobody's gonna really care. But the real way to do it, every note is picked. So the sliding, in fact, if I was playing live, I'm, you know what, I'm not gonna cheat. I can't cheat, Skinner. So much easier to do it that way. But the, the way Steve does it is picks every note. And my problem is I hesitate. My brain can't think while I do this. And I try and think about something else while this is going on. I mean, you can hear me hesitating and it's so annoying because my brain wants to think while I'm playing and you can't think. Now, some of the things that have helped me play this better, trying to bust through and play it nice and clean, is to, to not think, is to actually play, feel like you're fretting every note, like you're walking up. Don't think about the pick, just think about fretting the note. That helps me get that nice little snap without hesitating, but I'm gonna hesitate almost every time right now. I'm busting through, it's a hard time. So, I don't see, I'm, 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 I'm it, this finger is stuck. I could do it the easy way because you don't have that hesitation. Dun, dun. You can play as fast as you want, but change it around, change the dun, dun, dun. Dang, it's hard. So guys, I apologize for the deficiency in the ability department. Okay, now that we got through that, it's not 100%, but like probably 89%. This snappy lick. Is one of the hardest dang things. I've played faster things, but this thing on clean, 100% on expert on Guitar Hero, <laughs> gets me every time. And he probably plays it slower than that too. So just taking some of the tips I gave you there is feel like you're fretting every note. Don't think about the picking hand. Actually, my hand wants to rush through and play that. We'll leave that aside though. Save that for another day, come back to it. Cool lick right there, really fast. Did you know though, when we do these, this chord part right here, I've seen some people cheat this one as well. He's playing these diminished chords. And he's just right. Throwing those chords right into a fast intro. That's really different for Southern Rock, isn't it? It's a very jazzy. 
And then, oh, that makes it really hard too, because you're trying to, you know, all this fast stuff. It took me forever to get precise with this landing of the chord. In the beginning, you go. You don't really play a chord, you're kind of like hitting frets and hitting random places. <laughs> So if you're working on this in your journey, keep in mind, it does get better. You do get better at I know a little the more you play it. <laughs> and some other things I like about this. It's a nice little slick lick. That's right. I messed up right there. It's not a B, it's an E he plays. When you play it slow, it sounds like you're doing some Clapton. This is a Clapton lick coming up. Now that's the one that gets a lot of people because it's so fast. It's actually one of the easier licks though because you're barring. So then you just keep that pick angle down the beginning. Mm. Can't get enough of that one. The rest of the solo, pretty simple, except they throw in that, he throws in that little loop for you. And that part I can see too, because you gotta snap right back into action. You don't stop moving there, it's like a nice steady cardio. Okay, we're gonna move on from I know a little because it, I'm sure that's taking up way too much time right now. Some other Steve Gaines. Oh, there's so much. You ever, you know, T for text, we'll do that another day. There's a, um, I know a little's a go in that one, but I wanna give you a little bit of a bonus right here. This one's a fun one. <laughs> You can name that tune, I'll be extremely happy. That's right, do you have it? Comment it below. If you said, if you said Thunderstruck by ACDC, you're wrong. I never dreamed. <laughs> with Steve doing the background rhythm for that intro, but he also has this really cool part, and I can't remember all of it right now, but. I don't have that all figured out yet, but I always thought that was a fun one to share. More obscure Steve Gaines work. Of course, there's more stuff we can cover, like you got that right, and we can go back and revisit I know a little again when I know how to play it better. So many cool licks though. So perhaps this gives you a different perspective of Steve Gaines, a deeper appreciation. He's a lot of fun to play, and he's a guy you wanna copy if you really want to play faster and cleaner. As you see today, there was nothing masking my playing. You could hear every bad note, you could hear every good note. It sounds really good when it's clean, it sounds really bad when it's not. So it's a great way to practice too, and it's how I do a lot of my practice sessions. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you in a future video.